Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies, Bangalore. We are the sales and support point for Spatial Manager software in India. In this video, I am going to show you a brief introduction to Spatial Manager and this video will show you the product running under the BricsCAD platform. Spatial Manager is a hybrid GIS and CAD data management software which can help you to work with spatial data that are both of images as well as vector data like ArcGIS shape files and so on. Now you can get this page from our website thedesignsense.com under solution explorer on the home page if you click on spatial manager under civil infra and mapping tools you get this page where you have all the information about what spatial manager is and you can also download the trial versions for BricsCAD, for AutoCAD or for the desktop standalone version as well. So let me just jump into the demo and show you quickly the key features of Spatial Manager. So like I said this helps you work with both image data as well as vector data and image data can be georeferenced and can be streamed live into your CAD platform like BricsCAD or AutoCAD. So if you ask me the top three features of Spatial Manager why you should consider this product. The first one is the ability to bring live maps into your CAD platform and these live maps are georeferenced so they either appear in your desired UTM or lat long coordinates. The second reason why I would recommend Spatial Manager is this makes it super easy for you to export GML and GMZ files to Google Earth. Simply draw your data on the CAD like you do your normal designs and with this option you can export it to Google Earth. Third you can do transformation of coordinates. Very often you have lat long coordinates which need to be converted to a projected coordinate system like UTM or you may need to do the reverse as well. You can do all of it easily with Spatial Manager. Other than that there are also options for you to acquire the elevations from any part of the globe using Spatial Manager. This is a very very unique feature which will allow you to get elevations from almost any part of the world. The elevations are reasonably accurate in most areas and are quite suitable for rough calculation and quality checks. You can also create contours from then. You can also create terrain in different formats like polyface mesh, 3D face mesh and tin data. Other than this Spatial Manager also has the ability to turn your drawing into a database by offering AutoCAD map like object data function. So let us start with the streaming of live maps. So I go to the show option here. You can now see the list of maps from which Spatial Manager is able to pull out data and show you. So let us start with the defaults which is Google Maps. And here again you have several options. There's satellite, hybrid, roads and so on. So I prefer the hybrid map because this gives you both image as well as the labels of different places. So I click on hybrid. So now you can see the world map here and I'm going to now zoom into my area of interest. So I'm going to zoom into where I live that is Bangalore in Karnataka, India. Okay, so these are live maps. As you can see as I zoom in and zoom out the map updates itself. So this is pretty much like using Google Earth or Google Maps. The difference is that you're doing it inside your CAD platform which is BricsCAD. The same can run in AutoCAD as well. Now if I do an ID at any point you can see that the real world coordinates are shown. So these are the real world UTM coordinates because that is set as the default projection system for this place. So this is reason number one or the feature number one I want to show in the demo. The next thing I want to show you is how to extract elevations and create contours out of it. But before we do that let us pause a bit to see the different ways in which you can enter the spatial manager commands. There is a pull down menu which you just now saw. There is also the ribbon which you can click here and all the spatial manager options are available here on the ribbon as well. So we use just now show and now next we are going to use elevations and also in BricsCAD if you just go to toolbars SPM you can see that the toolbar also has appeared here and you can also enter all the commands on the command line by typing SPM followed by the name of the command. So there are multiple ways in which you can 
enter the data in spatial manager okay so now let us create some elevations so i'm going to just zoom out and i'm going to this place here which is the nandi hills this is a nice uh, hill with lot of elevation differences so it's the best data sample i have for creating elevations so i'm going to spatial manager elevations select the area in order to download terrain elevations as 3d points from online service so i'm going to pick this area here which is the first first one of the nandi hills so it is now downloading the data and you can see that the elevations have been downloaded from the online service you can also choose the xy resolution you want for the elevation so i'm going to leave this as default as 40 so this is going to come up with 3400 points now i can create the points as well as i can create the contours and i can create the terrain so all of it i can create it in one shot itself so for terrain options i'm going to choose let's say tin surface you can also choose the mesh or polyphase for contours i'm going to choose the minor contour interval as 5 and the major contour interval as 25 create contours without elevation no i want with elevation so that is fine so i'm just going to click ok and ok here so you can see that it's already downloaded the elevation data it has created the tin triangulate irregular network as well as the contour now at this point there are two things you can do if you still want to view this with the image well and good you can still use your cursor and move it and you can see how the terrain looks like of course the image is 2d and what is on top is actually the 3d elevation which we just now downloaded now if you don't want the image anymore you can go to spatial manager and then click on capture so when you do capture you can actually capture the screenshot of the current image and the connection to the server is lost from that point onwards which means it will no longer be live maps after you do a capture it will only be an image which is attached to your drawing so i'm going to take current area and the image format is raster image so this attaches the image as an external file external png file so i prefer jpeg always so i just choose jpeg and along with jpeg it also creates the world file which is the jgw file and i'm going to just go to say okay so this is going to download the image and now you can see if i zoom out i don't get live maps anymore because i've already created this as a captured image okay so now let me just uh, remove the image i'm just going to go to the image command and then detach it so that was only to show you how you can do it so once you have removed it now you have the vector data so spatial managers main capability is the ability to work with online map extract elevation and then and also export them in gis formats like s3 shp shape files and so on so we will see all of that in another video you have got a fairly good understanding and value proposition for spatial manager so together with BrickScan and our other products like geotools and cat power we have a we have an excellent solution for you for managing your survey and spatial data all within a budget of, we can give you the complete solution let's try spatial manager this is a must-have solution for almost every designer today whether you're using spatial data or maybe you're also in the aec field where you have to work with terrain data for google maps or make a rough calculation about your terrain elevations and so on spatial manager is an excellent choice for this thank you for watching this video do let me know if you have any questions